Questions continue surrounding the man in charge of the Houston airport system after a KPRC2 investigation. Two weeks ago, investigator Mario Diaz exposed how claims of sexual harassment and retaliation involving that director and a subordinate he has had a cozy relationship with for years. Those allegations continue to get the attention of Houston City Council. KPRC2 investigator Mario Diaz live in the newsroom this afternoon. Mario, what are council members saying today? Uh, Christine, one council member is asking tough questions. Another says she has concerns and feels for the former employee who made the complaint. How do you characterize the management of the airport system right now, considering everything that we have reported? Suspicious. I'm suspicious of it. Council members suspicious over Houston Airport's system operations under the leadership of Director Mario Diaz. What is the status, if you can tell us, on the airport sexual harassment matter? Mayor Sylvester Turner questioned directly this morning by Council Member Michael Kubash regarding a sexual harassment and retaliation complaint first exposed by KPRC2 investigates. The September complaint filed by a former employee against Director Diaz and his girlfriend. Maricela Cruzman, who is also one of his subordinate employees. The mayor's response. Well, Council Member, I'll have to get back with you on the, on the latter one. That was the only mention of the matter at today's council meeting. But council member Tiffany Thomas expressed her concerns afterwards. It is a serious situation, and um, it's pretty disheartening to know that someone in the city um, is experiencing that. We tried to ask Mayor Turner about it last week. Mayor Turner, do you have any concerns of a sexual harassment complaint and retaliation involving the airport director, Mayor? And this week, too. But Mayor Turner left today's meeting before we could even get a question. It has to be a priority because, again, it's going to set precedence for how we how we operate. City Attorney Arturo Michelle, whose office is handling the former employee's complaint, explains where things stand. There's sometimes a process during a, an investigation as to when the order of complaints. But I can tell you that the process is proceeding. Others have called on the city to conduct an independent investigation by outside parties. Thomas tells me she hopes there is integrity with the city's internal process. Live in the newsroom, Mari Diaz, KPRC2 Investigates.